worship you I worship you You are here Working in this place I worship you I worship you Hey, we make a miracle one. My dear viewers, whatever you are it is my great pleasure to share the word of God with you today. The word of God today comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 32. We are going to read through verse 35 and then we shall lead a verse in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 20. Here comes the reading of the word of God. And what shall I say for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon of Barak of Samson and and of Javed and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness obtained uh, promises stopped the mouth of riot quenched the violence of fire escaped the uh, the end of the sword out of weakness we are made strong Waxed the variant in fight, turned to fright the enemies of the Aryans. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting the reverence that they might obtain a better resurrection. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 20. The Bible says, And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what the end shall be. For they are very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. That is the word of God today. My subject today is faith. And I want to share a message from this uh, particular subject. And the message today is by faith. By faith. My dear viewers wherever you are I come to you with a word of encouragement and it is my prayer that the Lord will minister to you as we go through this message today may the grace of God be sufficient and may God cover you with sufficient grace and wisdom that even as I share you will be able to be ministered to by the Holy Spirit if you might begin by giving a brief definition of what faith is the Bible says faith now faith is the substance of things hoped for it is the evidence of things not seen faith is the substance of things hoped for it is the evidence of things not seen it is important to know that we only relate with our God through faith the Bible records in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Allow me to call it the book of the topic of faith. From first verse to the last verse, the Bible is talking of men and women whose life was full of faith. And if they achieved anything, they achieved it by faith. It is a word of encouragement, especially in the times we are living in. And it is good to understand if we are going to overcome anything, if you are going to go through, if you are going to achieve anything in this life, then it must be by faith. The Bible records of the men of old, it calls them the elders. We are commanded because of their faith. The Bible talks of men like Noah, who when he was warned by God, by faith he moved and he made the, 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 the ark through which him and eight others were actually saved. The Bible talks of men like Enoch. Enoch by faith walked with God. It is recorded that he was translated. That he didn't see death because he had faith in God. It talks of men like Abraham. The Bible says when Abraham was called by God. To leave his people and his land. To go to a land by which later God would show him, the Bible says, 
the man who moved even without knowing where he was going the bible record that this man finally arrived to the land even if god never gave him direction god told him just to move he was not given the direction to move on but he arrived there eventually and the reason why the very thing that made him to arrive there it is the faith he had in god the bible says by faith abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would uh would he would receive as an inheritance and he went out not knowing where he was going by faith he dwelt in the land glory and honor be to god by faith he dwelt in the law in the land it is exciting when god told sarah that you are going to bore a child because she was of old age in fact she loved inside her tent because looking at herself and her condition she did not believe god but the bible record by faith the same woman who loved when god gave the promise the same woman who loved when god gave the promise she received the power she received the strength by faith to conceive blessed be the name of the lord jesus christ my brother and my sister it is good and let me tell you the link between man and god the link between man and god is faith the bible records in the book of the bible record in the book of uh, 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 Ephesians chapter 2 if you can read verse 14 to verse 6 that Jesus Christ is our peace when Jesus Christ came to the world he made peace between man and God in fact by by his body his body was actually destroyed and the destruction of his body on the cross destroyed the war of hostility that existed between man and God and therefore he made peace bringing man and reconciling him with god he became our peace glory and honor be to god it is written in the book of uh in the book of uh uh in the book of uh uh the book of uh deuteronomy where we have actually read deuteronomy 32 where we have actually read god is saying i shall hide my face that i will see the end god decided to hide his face from his people not because they could not see him but because they were men they were women of faith he said they are perverse generation in whom faith is not found the only thing that link us from god to man or from man to god it is actually faith i honor and bless the name of the living god my brothers my sister it is good to understand we have only one mediator between man and God and the Bible record the man Jesus Christ he is our link he is our connection if you want to connect to God it is through Jesus Christ who is our mediator the Bible says even the man Jesus Christ let me say this faith as compass is for the direction faith is for a uh, spiritual direction when Abraham was told by God move God never gave any other or any further instruction. And faith directed him. Faith is a compass. It gives a, a spiritual direction. It gives a spiritual action. What are you going to do after you have received the word of God? I marveled when I think about Isaac. When Isaac was in a time where there was a famine greater and his fear uh, more than the at the time of his father Abraham the Bible says he decided to move and this was, the, it was actually his mind this was not the, the direction God wanted him to move because of the famine he was in a great nature he was an, in a great struggle he was actually suffering a lot and the Bible says he decided by his mind that I'm going to go down to Egypt uh, at least maybe I may find food and God came down and said you are not going to move don't leave this place because i'm going actually to bless you i'm going to bless you in this land and god never spoke anything else listen to me very carefully it is faith that told uh told isaac what he was to do when you want to know the direction the the, the geographical direction you use the the compass it tells you where north is it tells you where south is then 
when it is a spiritual matter what do you use you use faith faith is our our spiritual canvas it does not only give you direction it gives you the action to take therefore when when isaac believed god god said i'll bless you in this land he believed in god then he moved by faith and he planted his seed even in a time where the famine was so severe in a drought and the bible record by faith he planted and after that he fasted he harvested the same year he harvested the same year a hundred fold move by faith act by faith speak by faith anything that you're going to do do it by faith and you're going to see great results if the men of the bible did it by faith and they got their results even in our time i want to tell you my brothers and my sister we are going to move by faith we are going to do by faith we are going to speak by faith and we are going to get our results in the mighty name of jesus christ we have spoken we have read and the bible speaks about men men who did great things men who moved and, and moved and sh uh, shook the world men that did everything by faith the bible has spoken about the men like as we have read the bible has spoken about the men the, the men like gideon the men like barak the men like samson the men like javed the men like david the man the men like uh, uh summer and the, the, the other prophets of god who by faith they conquered the kingdom hallelujah to god by faith they conquered the kingdom by faith they quenched the violence of the fire by faith they escaped the end of the sword oh glory to god by faith they shut the mouth of lion by faith women receive back their dead in the name of jesus christ i want to tell you my brothers and my sisters it is not 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 by anything but it is by faith it is not by, by, by our knowledge it is not by our low worries it is not by thinking about what we are going to do it is by faith in the mighty name of jesus christ and remember what, what the bible has has already told us that sarah has has as dead whoop as it was she received faith and the faith is strengthened her listen to me and i want to submit this word to you if you walk by faith if you act by faith if you speak by faith if you move by faith faith will give you strength that which you could not receive by your own strength or understanding faith gave sarah strength to receive and to conceive and actually she bore his uh, 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 son isaac and to abraham because she decided to judge him the bible says she judged him faithful who had his pocket let me te tell you let me tell you this you are source of faith you are source of faith it is good to understand you are source of faith number one is the word of god roman chapter 10 and verse 17 it is recorded faith comes by healing and healing the word of god faith comes by healing and healing the word of god listen if you if you go to the book of uh first timothy and chapter 10 uh, chapter 14 and verse 10 the bible says there was a cripple when 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 paul was actually preaching glory and honor be to god a cripple who was a cripple since he was born he was listening to paul and as he continued listening receiving the word paul the bible says paul fixed his eye on him because he perceived that this man has faith to be healed and when paul when paul perceived oh glory to god that this man has faith to be healed he said with a loud voice rise up in the, in the name of jesus and walk when you hear the word faith comes by healing and healing the word of god it is when you hear the word faith comes forth when you hear the word faith comes forth when you are healing even now you are hearing this one faith is coming forth when you hear somebody a servant of god speaking faith come forth therefore when paul was speaking this man i believe he had gone to the meeting he had gone to the meeting he probably never expected to be here but as paul was speaking the bible has not recorded the message the bible has not recorded the verse that he was reading the bible but the man was receiving the word of god from the man the, the man of god and the more he received faith glory to god faith clear in him and when faith clear in him the poor the bible says paul fixing his eyes on him perceived that this man has got faith and when he perceived he said 
with a loud voice. Rise and walk. And the man rose up and he walked because the faith in him made him strong. Glory and honor to God. If it was like the time of Jesus, when he, men and women who were full of need, when they went to him by faith, the Bible record, he said, your faith has healed him. Look at me. In the book of Mark chapter 5, if you read verse 34, we lead of this woman who had an issue of blood for 12 good years. And the Bible says she had suffered great in the hands of many doctors. And instead of getting better, she grew us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And one day, glory to Jesus, one day she heard about Jesus. And who is Jesus? The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1, uh, verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word became fresh in me, a report of him, as the only son of God, full of glory. Therefore, when she heard about Jesus, she actually heard the word. And she decided, it was says that she thought in his mind, she thought, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be healed. She thought, after receiving the word, she thought. And when she thought, she acted. The Bible records that the meeting was so big, she had to press through. She had to press through, through the crowd. It was not easy. Don't forget, she was limited of doing that by the tradition. Because of having an issue of blood, she was unclean. And therefore unclean, she was prohibited. She was limited. She could not, she was not actually allowed to go and intermingle with the people. In other words, in the language today, she was supposed to be quarantined. Glory and honor be to God. She was supposed to be in the sea of quarantine under her own expenses. But I thank God when she heard about Jesus. She said in obvious now, I cannot be confined in this rule and law and relation of tradition. She moved by faith. Woo, Jesus, I bless you. She moved by faith and she pressed through the crowd. And what happened when she arrived to where Jesus was? She touched the hem of his garment. And the Bible says immediately the power left Jesus. Immediately the power left Jesus. And Jesus spoke and said, somebody who has touched me? Somebody has touched me. And people started asking him, how can you ask that somebody has touched you? You see the multitude pressing, pressing against you. And he said, I know somebody has left me. Because power, mm, mm. it is faith that draws power. Are you listening to me? It is your faith that draws power to Jesus. And when the faith is drawn towards you, by your faith, whatever you need, whatever you are suffering from, whatever is your desire, that is faith you will fix it. Glory to God. That is faith we work it out. When this woman, knowing what really happened, she fell at the feet of Jesus and she narrated everything. And when Jesus listened to her, the Son of God, our Lord and our Savior, the, our author of faith, oh, Jesus, I bless you. Jesus said, woman, your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. Look at, look at the man Bartimaeus. A man who was bright from the time he was born. And Jesus was passing by where this man was. And he heard about a, a, a multitude. And he asked, what is happening? What is the commotion today? And people told him, it is Jesus Christ of Nazareth who is passing by. When he heard it is Jesus and the multitude was big, he lifted his voice and he never called anybody else. He called the Lord Jesus. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. Though people tried to press him down to, to stop speaking. Faith moved him. Woo. And panic is full everywhere in the world. May your faith give you hope and give you a faith. Is that what? Your faith 
is under fire. It is a time to stand and fight for your faith. The Bible record in the book of Luke chapter 22, verse that 1 to 32, the Bible says, Simon, Simon, Satan has desired. I was reading in another version. Simon, Simon, Satan has demanded to sift you her sweet. But I have prayed for you that your faith shall not fall. One desire of our God, one desire of our God, one desire in the heart of our maker is that our faith, even in a such a difficult uh, uh, a situation, even in a time where coronavirus is shaking and making many nations to tremble, your faith shall not fall. This is my prayer for you. This is my prayer for you, my reasoner. That you are faith, even as we go through this pandemic, you are faith shall not fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus told Simon, Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith shall not fall. And when you are converted, why should we keep our faith? Why should we faith, faith to maintain and to keep our faith? Because after this, there are people who are waiting for you. After this, there are people who are waiting for me. To strengthen again to put them again into their feet in the mighty name of jesus christ we have a responsibility church we have a responsibility servants of god after this there is a job to do after this somebody is waiting for you because the faith of many shall, shall actually reduce but jesus has prayed for for us i'm also praying for you as i preach that your faith shall not fall but you are going to be strengthened like sarah you are going to be strengthened like simon and peter who even after the, 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 the situation passed, he became a pillar of truth in the name of Jesus Christ. Your faith is under fire. Your faith is under fire. It may sound as it was a time when Simon was attacked. But the devil is the same. He attacked the faith of Simon. Don't imagine that your faith is safe. You have to fight. You have to fight. Paul was telling his uh, spiritual son, Timothy. In the book of Timothy chapter 1. And verse 6, chapter 1. Uh, verse, uh, Timothy 1, chapter 6. And verse 2. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of eternal life. And when it was about his time to leave this world. When it was about the time of God to depart, he said, I fought the good fight of faith. Ooh. I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I'm looking forward for such a testimony. Even after this pandemic is over, even after this situation we are going through, a difficult situation economically, a difficult situation spiritually, a difficult situation socially, a difficult situation even as the world, as a nation, as a, a church. I'm looking forward for your testimony. My brother, my sister, whatever you are, this is my prayer and I request you in the name of Jesus. Fight, keep your faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fight, keep your faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Paul, lead it forth to the battle. Paul, Lily, kept the faith. And that is the desire of our God. Listen to me. Listen to me. There is something that is giving the heart of our Lord a great soul. A great soul. The heart of the Lord right now is in a great soul. One sorrow that is in the heart of God is this. And the Bible asks, when the Son of Man come back to the world, will he find faith? And that is why I'm saying, your faith is under fire. Because the enemy wants to make sure that when the Lord will be coming back for the church, none of his people will be with faith. But this is my prayer. And that is why I'm preaching. Keep your faith. Fight for your faith. Keep your faith. Fight for your faith. Because Jesus is coming soon. When the Son of Man will come back, will he find faith? Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
with the Lord have faith. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, if you read verse 38 through 39, the Bible says, my, my, my righteous one shall live by faith. My righteous one shall live by faith. The children of God, we are going and we are living by faith. And we shall live by faith. My righteous, the righteous shall live by faith. And if they draw back, amen, if they draw back, my soul will not be pleased with them. If you draw back at this time, if you are not going to keep your faith at this time, the soul of the Lord will, be not, will not be pleased with you. That is why I have said, and I want to repeat again, there is a sorrow right now in the heart of our Lord. When He comes to the world, will He find peace? Will He find uh, faith? When the Lord comes to whatever you will be, and whatever situation you are in, and whatever your need are, will He find faith? Will you be seen by the Lord? Will a servant of God look at you and discern that you have faith, that whatever your desire is, He will speak a word and you are going to receive it. My brothers, my sister, if it is going to be a, 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 anything, it is going to be by faith. If you are going to move on, it is going to it is by faith. If you are going to make it even in this situation, it is by faith. If you are going to give a testimony, as we go back to the church, it shall be by faith. The Bible says that uh, 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 we are not of them. Woo. We are not of them who draw back and are destroyed. But of them who are of faith and we believe and we stand. It is my prayer. It is my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we are not going to be, we are not going to be counted of them that you draw back. But we are going to be counted of them that believe and by faith we are saved. I declare and declare, even this child, it is a generation of faith that they are going to be to be to, to, to be saved. It is a generation of faith. God is saying to the to the children of Israel in the, in the book of uh, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 20 that I will hide my faith because they are a perverse generation in whom there is no faith. Are you going to be spoken like so? That you are a perverse generation. And when God looks for faith in you, there is no faith in you. I want to tell you, my brother. I want to encourage you, my sister. I want to come to you with a word of faith. Uh, uh, a word of encouragement. That it is faith. It is faith that is going to make you go through. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is faith that is going to make you go through. In the name of Jesus Christ. Paul was coming to his son, to his son in faith. The son, uh, uh, his son in faith. His spiritual son, Timothy. Because like Timothy had actually gone back. He was going through a slow backsliding time and a period. And he came to him and said, I thank God continually before whom I stand. I remember you in my prayer. Oh, glory and honor be to God. I remember you in my prayer even as I remember your faith. You are sincere faith. He is actually reminded. May, may, may I remind you of your sincere faith in God. May I remind you of your sincere faith in Christ. May I remind you in your sincere faith in your Father God. Because it is the sincere faith that made you to be a child of God. Paul was encouraging Timothy. When the faith of Timothy was so down, he said that I am persuaded. I am persuaded that the faith that sincere faith once lived in your in your in your grandmother Royce and now in your mother Eunice and I'm persuaded that the faith is in you what what an encouragement what a testimony when Paul looked at his spiritual son he said I can see a sincere faith in you because you have fought the good fight you have kept the faith let even in this season my brothers and my sisters church of the Lord Jesus Christ let us fight the good faith of, of, of the, the let's fight the good faith fight of fight of faith and when we shall be found back in the sanctuary we shall give one testimony i kept the faith who i kept the faith who i kept the faith i saw the glory of god i've come this far by faith in the mighty name of jesus christ i thank god i thank god because 
we are not of those who draw back and are destroyed but we are those who move on those who believe and are saved even in the time we are living even in the time we are living we are those who stand we are those who live on and are glory to God are saved we are not going to be destroyed but we are going to be saved by faith because by faith we link by faith we connect to God by faith we receive like the man of the old and then we are commanded I believe and I say we shall be commanded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may the name of the Lord be praised may our God and our Father bless you in the name of Jesus Christ I want to bow us to bow our down our heads and let us pray in the name of Jesus my Father and my God I exhort you our thank you because Jesus Christ he is our our faith uh, author and he is our faith finisher the Bible says we fix our eyes unto him Jesus Christ who is our uh, the author of our faith and the finisher of our faith in the mighty name of Jesus I pray this prayer that Jesus Christ you prayed for your servant uh, your servant Simon Peter that the faith of your church the faith of the saint the faith of my reasoner the faith of my viewers shall not fail though we are going to go through a difficult time a difficult situation economically spiritually socially health wise but I might pray and I pray for them wherever they are that their faith shall not fail but it shall go it shall going to be upheld because they are not going to going to, to, to sit down but they are going to fight the good fight of faith and they shall keep the faith and they shall finish the race in the mighty name of Jesus I cover them with the blood of Jesus I pray for your grace upon them. I pray for your hand upon our nation. I pray for the hand of salvation. I pray that you save this nation. By faith we believe and by faith we receive. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen, amen. I bless you. May God keep you safe in His hands. In Jesus' name.